So, on my Bavaria yacht, uh, just to check on the battery status, I need to switch on the power for the control panel. And I come here to check. This is the starting battery, and this is the house battery. So, as you can see, it is only about volts. No chance to know if I have 80% of battery or whatsoever. So I ordered the amp hour monitor or battery monitor. Uh, I just received from Amazon. And this is how it looks like. Actually, these are just cables to connect from the shunt to the display unit. I think it's 2.4 meters and this is the main and this is the main thing that's all um, I'm amazed uh, it's written in good English not as the normal Chinese product catalogs or manuals. I ordered this one the 350 amps because my uh, house battery is 280 amps. So they have two versions. The first version is uh, 50 amp and this one is 100 amp slash 350 amps. So it can go up to 350 amps. So I just be on the safe side and I bought the, the bigger version. So normally this is the shunt. It's displayed here in the manual. Okay, I need to connect the B to the negative side of my battery bank and uh, P will be my main source for all the control panel and all the devices, sharp plotter and everything. And we have one small power cable to be connected to the positive side of the battery, most probably just to give power to the monitor. And this is the monitor here. It's typical as displayed on the website on Amazon and this little connection just to help mount the monitor to the back of the I will still need to check where I will install it I install it here or maybe here we'll see uh, off-camera I prepared the the cable that will go from the battery from the negative side battery negative side to the shunt at B so this will go here and I fixed the mount here uh, much easier to unscrew the shunt and fix the housing then put the shunt back uh, this is the, uh, the positive wire that comes from the positive of the battery and will go in the shunt um, I believe it is much easier to fix it first before I install the shunt because it will be very tight. Uh, tiny screwdriver. As I said before, this is just to power the screen. And actually I tried a uh, thicker wire. It didn't fit, that's why I put this little one. Okay. So now we fix the shunt in place.
that's it. Then we connect the extension cable. Here we go. So uh, we press on uh, on this the middle button for three seconds to get the amp hours. Uh, we need to set the amp hours what we have. My battery bank is uh, 280 amp hours. So I will just press and hold. Amp hours. Set. Actually, my solar panel is connected. That's why it's giving me uh, up arrow with positive sign, which means. Let me check. This one is okay. Amp volts 13.8 volts. The battery is charging now. We need to set the percentage because the battery is 100% full, almost 100% full. It's in float mode now. So this is one press will give you the amp. And this is the voltage. And this is the amp hour of the battery and the percentage. Let me connect the panel and see if we uh, can put some load and see how it goes. I connected the, the control panel and put some load. I switch on the navigation lights, the fridge. And as you can see, it is uh, pulling 4.2 amps. And you can see there is a negative sign here pointing down, which means I'm consuming from the batteries. This is the amps. Volts is 13.25 Percentage 100% Charged Amp hours 279.8 It's amazing this little thing So next step is to figure out where to mount it in my dashboard next to the control panel 